Okay, pace counting can be a very accurate way to measure exactly how far you've walked in land navigation technique. Now then, a pace count is how many paces it takes for you to walk 100 metres. And we're all different, you'll have to measure your own pace. Um, say for instance, your pace count is 65, that means 65 paces when you've taken 65 paces or walked 65 paces, it means you've actually walked 100 meters. Um, to measure your own pace, what you need to do is have a look on, on your map and find a, a road, preferably straight, a straight road or a straight track, um, fairly flat. And you can use the, uh, the scale of the map and also the um, measure on the side of your compass or a ruler. And you can measure out a section which is exactly 100 meters long from a to b go to that um, feature on the actual ground itself starting from a all you do is simply walk to point b and when you reach point b you actually count when you start when i say you walk from a to b when you start walking you count your paces and when you reach uh, point b you have walked 100 meters and you, you simply just count how many paces it has taken you. And bear in mind that one pace is two steps. And I'll show you now. You start off, it's one, two, three, and so on. So that's what you need to do to find out your own pace, because we're all different. Just find a section on the map, measure it, so it's 100 metres. Start from point A, head towards point B, and start counting your paces. So we'll say for instance, you've got a pace rate of 65. So in 65 paces, you have walked 100 meters. Um, and then you just start counting your paces. And when you reach 65, well, you either click, there's a pace counter there on this silver compass. You either put a click on the compass, or this is a pace counter that I've made. Um, it's a piece of accessory cord got a clip at the top there so you can clip it onto a belt or a rucksack or whatever you, and it's got 10 toggles on it so when you've reached 65 paces all you need to do is just slide a toggle down and then you carry on walking and you start from one again one two three up to 65 when you reach 65 just move another toggle down and you just keep going so on and so forth and um, say for instance you've reached a location um, or an attack point or whatever or you've just stopped for a rest you've got a, a reference of how far you've actually walked all you need to do is just count the toggles one two three four five six so in this case you've walked 600 meters and also it'll be showing six on your compass as well if you're using a pace counter on your compass and also say for instance you start off at your, your starting point A and you've reached a location um, you could be you know uh, having a, a, a break a rest or what have you um, and you, your actual destination is say 800 meters so you can easily work out how many meters you've got left to walk so you've got one two three four five six so you've walked 600 meters which means to get to your destination or your attack point you need to walk 200 meters now just bear in mind that this is accurate on fairly level ground or a slight gradient if you walk in up or down a very steep hill bear in mind it's not that accurate but it's still a good skill to learn and if you want to see more um, land navigation techniques of map and compass from beginner to more advanced techniques take a look at my playlist where I've got all the videos all together um, called land navigation and you can find the link on my home page so that's it that's the land navigation technique called pacing good skill to learn